I'd like to share a few tips with you that may help with your digitizing speed and confidence with the software. The first thing that came to mind was shortcuts. So I began looking through the list. There are over 130, so which one to pick? I decided to work a simple design and digitize some lettering created in Corel Draw and see which shortcuts I used. The design came across from Corel Draw just fine, but it was half off the screen. The first shortcut is the letter P, which is the shortcut for the pan tool to move the design to where you want it. To digitize, I wanted to use column A tool, and the shortcut for that is F4. To make the sides of the letter L perfectly vertical, I use the control key, holding it down between the two sets of left clicks in the letter L. Back to the F4 key to activate the column A tool to create the letter E. To reshape, add, move or remove nodes, use the keyboard shortcut letter H. To zoom in closer, I use the shortcut letter B. I think of it as B for bigger. After hitting the letter B on the keyboard, left click and drag around the area to be enlarged. To fill the work area with the design, use the keyboard shortcut 0. To duplicate the letter E, right click, hold and drag to the new location, holding the control key down to move exactly along the horizontal baseline. Only six keyboard shortcuts, and not once did I have to look for an icon or even activate a digitizing tool. Each tool has an F key from F2 through to F11. Learning a couple each week will improve your speed and confidence with the software. I hope you found this interesting and helpful, and thanks for watching.